Life is stressful and it can quickly wear on you and make you feel overwhelmed. Bible verses about trusting the Lord can offer guidance, perspective, and a sense of peace at a time when you need it most. Faith in God brings comfort and good spirits, even in the midst of stress and crushing difficulties. Faith is what helps us to trust God in difficult times. When we consider God's plans for our life and His purpose, we have to understand that there are many things He has to do for this world, and our purpose will be an extension of that. We have to trust that He has a plan for us. We have to trust that His plans are good. We have to trust that His will and His plans for our lives is immeasurable better than anything that we could create or dreamed of. God wants to share His plans for you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. Let today be the last day that you are unsure of your purpose. Believe that God is going to reveal to you those great and mighty things. Trusting God is not about ignoring your feelings or reality. It is not pretending that everything is okay when it isn't. Trusting God is living a life of belief and in obedience to God, even when it's difficult. To trust is to acknowledge God in everything. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will redirect your paths. Proverbs 3, verse 6. Acknowledging God means knowing God wherever we are and whatever we are doing. This does not mean that we have an intellectual understanding of who God is, but the fact that we can identify His character and His will in every moment of our lives. To trust is to fear the Lord. Proverbs 3 verse 7 tells us, Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Putting our trust in the wisdom of men or looking to ourselves is pointless. Trusting in the Lord is the only path to life, and nowhere is this seen more fully than in the life and the works of Jesus. Tonight we're going to read comforting Bible verses that can ease your worry, clear your mind, and help you feel better prepared for the days ahead, regardless of what they bring. Let's begin. If I've made go of my trust, said to find go of my security, that also is a punishable offense because I would then be disloyal to God above. Job 31 verse 24 to 28 The good news, don't place all your faith in immortal things like money or objects. Your trust should be for God alone, anything else will let you down. Psalm 37 verse 3 Trust the Lord and do good, live in the land and farm faithfulness. The good news is, if you keep your head down, work hard and foster a faithful relationship with God, He will be there for you through anything. Proverbs 28 verse 26 Those who trust in their own reasoning are fools, but those who walk in wisdom will be kept safe. The good news, never think that you know better than God. Following the path that He has laid out for you is the very best way to proceed. Isaiah 12 verse 2 God is indeed my salvation. I will trust and won't be afraid. The good news is, if you place your faith in the Lord, He will lead you to salvation. All you have to do is believe. Psalm 25 verse 2 Please don't let me be put to shame. Don't let my enemies rejoice over me. The good news It can feel scary to put total trust in God, but He has your back to all things. Psalm 9 verse 10 Those who know your name trust you because you have not abandoned any who seek you. The good news, when you seek God in His goodness, He will hold up His promises. Hebrews 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The good news, no matter who you become or who you are, Jesus Christ will always be the same towards you. Philippians 4 verse 19 My God will meet your every need out of His riches and the glory that is found in Jesus Christ. The good news, God will always provide for you. Mark 5 verse 36 But Jesus overheard their report and said to the synagogue leader, Don't be afraid, just keep trusting. The good news, no matter how unfortunate things may seem in your life, trusting in God will help ease your pain. 
John 14 verse 1 Don't be troubled, trust in God, trust also in me. The good news, you can rest easy knowing that Christ is strong enough to carry your heavy load. Malachi 3 verse 6 I am the Lord, and I do not change, and you children of Jacob have not perished. The good news, just as God promised the descendant of Jacob, he will always offer his best to you. Hebrews 13 verse 6 This is why we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper, and I won't be afraid. What can people do to me? The good news, as long as you place your trust in God, He will make your enemies your footstool. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 We live by faith and not by sight. The good news, trusting in something you cannot see may not be easy, but God's love for you can be felt every day. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Throw all your anxiety unto Him because He cares for you. The good news, there is no burden too big for God to carry. Psalms 145 verse 18 The Lord is close to everyone who calls out to Him, to all who call out to Him sincerely. The good news, God is always near. You just need to acknowledge Him. Genesis 28 verse 15 I am with you now. I will protect you everywhere you go. I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done everything that I promise you. The good news, despite how you may feel, God will never leave you or let you down. Matthew 6 verse 25 Therefore I say to you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink. What about your body, what you will wear? Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? The good news, when you place your full trust in God, no worry, not even the small things will be too big for Him. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. There are plans for peace, not disaster to give you a future filled with hope. The good news, God's plans will always outweigh our plans. His goal at all times is to prosper you. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts Him. I was helped. My heart rejoiced and I thank Him with my song. The good news, when we put our faith in God, He will find ways to return that trust. He will guide us and protect us. Romans 8 verse 28 We know that God works all things together for good, for the ones who love God, for those who are called according to His purpose. The good news, we may not understand God's big plan, but we should trust that He has won for us. Everything in our life happens that way, for His reason. Psalm 62 verse 8 All you people, trust in Him at all times. Put out your hearts before Him. God is our refuge, Selah. The good news, it's easy to trust God when things are going well, but we must believe in Him in all times. Good or bad, He will be there for us through it all. 1 John 5 verse 14 This is the confidence that we have in our relationship with God. If we ask for anything in agreement with His will, He listens to us. The good news, Part of being able to count on God is knowing that He is there whenever we need Him. Our prayers will never go unheard. Psalm 20 verse 7 Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. The good news, seeing isn't believing when it comes to the Lord. It may seem easier to trust in tangible things around you, but God's love is the only thing that can ever truly be counted on. Isaiah 26 verse 4 Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is a rock for all ages. The good news, in life there are many things that we should and can be unsure about, but God's love is not one of them. He never wavers. He is always there. If there is anyone we should put our faith in, it's the Lord. Psalm 56 verse 3 to 4 Whenever I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise, I trust in God, I won't be afraid. What can a mere flesh do to me? The good news, fear is no more part of life. But with God on our side, we can turn to Him in the darkest moment 
and know that he is there for us. Psalm 32 verse 10 The pain of the wicked is severe, but faithful love surrounds the one who trusts the Lord. The good news, when we believe in God, we are rewarded with love and safety to get us through the tough times. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own intelligence. Know him in all your paths, and he will keep your way straight. The good news, it's hard for us to see God's vision for our lives. But if we trust in him and have faith, he will guide us down the road that, that he has built specially for us. Psalm 112 verse 7 They won't be frightened at bad news. Their hearts are steady trusting in the Lord. The good news, because God has a plan for us, even bad news fits within his vision. Therefore, we do not need to fret over things. We just need to trust that he is doing what is best for us. Joshua 1 verse 9 I've commanded you to be brave and strong, haven't I? Don't be alarmed or terrified. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The good news, with God on your side, we have nothing truly to fear. Psalm 118 verse 8 It's far better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in any human. The good news, people are fallible. We can get burned by putting too much faith in a single person. But God is always trustworthy and therefore us to turn when we need him. Proverbs 29 verse 25 People are trapped in their own fears of others. Those who trust the Lord are secure. The good news, we can easily get entrapped by our own fears. But when things seem like too much to handle, we need to turn to God to remember that we are safe in his hands. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Faith is the reality of what we hope for, the proof of what we don't see. The good news, having faith means that we get to know that our hopes are heard by God and that He is on our side even though we cannot see Him. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, He will act. The good news, God is just waiting for us to trust Him so He can guide us forward and act with our best interests in mind. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 Happy are those who trust in the Lord who rely on the Lord. The good news, for believing in God, we in turn are blessed by Him. 2 Timothy 4 verse 18 The Lord will rescue me from every evil action and will save me for His heavenly kingdom. To Him be the glory forever and always. Just as Jesus died on the cross for our sins, God will forgive us for our mistakes. He will welcome us with open arms when we decide to place our trust in Him. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, you are the God of peace and love in whom I place my trust. Give me a peaceful heart that rests in you and a loving spirit that puts forth your love to others. Lord, you are the God of comfort and rest in whom I put my hope. Give me a heart that abides in you so that your comfort may stream through me to others who need comfort and strength. Lord, you are the God of hope and joy in whom I stand secure. Give me a spirit of devotion and worships only you, so that I may be a worthy witness that points to Jesus. For in him is all peace, love, comfort, rest, hope, joy, and love. Lord Jesus, I love you, Lord, and I desire that my trust remain in you alone. I want to trust you in every area of my life, and I pray that my trust in you permeates into every part of my being. Lord, I want to trust you in all things so that nothing touches my life that does not have you right there with me. Lord, help me to trust you for all that I need, my daily needs and my spiritual needs. I want to rely on you and you alone and not put my trust in my own frail and foolish abilities. For without you, I can do nothing, but I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. May nothing in heaven or earth or under the earth absurd your central position in my life, I pray. Lord, I want to trust you in every situation and every season of my life for your promise to take all things, whether good or evil, and use them together for good, not only for my good and the good of others, but also that your name may be glorified through it. Lord Jesus, I love you and I trust you, and my hope is founded on you alone. You are my God and my Savior. Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cruel cross, and I praise you, Lord, for your glorious resurrection from the dead and all that it means to me. 
a sinner who has been saved by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. Help me, I pray, to trust you no matter what I am called upon to do. Give me the will to step out in faithful obedience on those occasions when I am called to say, do something that is outside my comfort zone, and to follow on the path of those like Queen Esther who was called for such a time as this. Help me to step out in faith and not to fear that which I am called upon to undertake, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Keep my heart open to your promptings. Help to grow in my faith in obedience to your prayers and glory in Jesus' name. Loving Lord, you are my confidence and my blessed assurance. You are the rock of my salvation and the strength of my life. My hope rests in you, for you are my faithful shepherd and the song that rejoices my heart. Thank you that your promise are true and your grace is sufficient for all my needs. Thank you that your mercies are new every morning, for you are faithful God. Thank you that you are my heavenly Father who loves me and cares for me. Thank you that you are my precious Savior who died for me and gave me new life. Thank you that you are my holy comforter who gently leads me in the path of righteousness and guide me into all truth. Loving Lord, I lay my life before you, for I trust in you completely. I pray that you will continue to keep and to care, to guard and to guide, to support and to strengthen in every avenue of my life. For my trust is in you, my God and my Savior. Amen.